is up, everyone. It's Talking to Spirits, Laughing with Ghost. We're going to do a weekly reading. It's been a while since I've done one. We're going to get through all the signs. We're going to group them uh, with air, fire, water, earth signs, as we normally do. We'll see what's going on this week for December 19th. I hope that everybody has been wonderful. I hope that you guys are having a great holiday. If you guys are ready for Christmas, I know it's a tough time of the year for some of you. Um, so let's do a reading and see what happens, all right? We're going to start off with air signs. It's going to be Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So we have going on for you guys this week. You ready? Let's go. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Ooh. Ooh, interesting, interesting. We've got the Four of Swords coming in. With the Four of Swords coming in, it is... Listen. You guys need rest. You guys are exhausted, okay? You also have the Ten of Pentacles, and that's going to be upside down. With the Ten of Pentacles upside down. Listen, you guys don't really know what the fuck that you're doing financially. Maybe you guys have spent too much money. Maybe you guys are exhausted from shopping for Christmas. Not really sure what's going on there, right? You also have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is coming in to say, listen, you guys need to control yourself, right? You need to control, you need to discipline yourself. Maybe you guys went overboard on spending this holiday season. Maybe you guys are kind of overcompensating um, to make the Christmas better. Or maybe you guys are trying to compete with the Joneses over here. I'm not really sure. Or you guys could be in a financial bind. Maybe you've lost your job. You're thinking about quitting your job. Okay, air signs, you guys really need to... <sighs> You guys really need to focus in on your money here. You guys are stressing about it, all right? Um, you also have the Ten of Cups coming in. Listen, it's about family. It's about being together. It's not always about presence, 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 right? You guys really need to focus on spending time with the people that you love instead of focusing so much on money, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are trying to... Um, like I said, like over, almost it's almost like overcompensating, right? For... Like showing your love maybe money-wise. That's kind of how I feel about it. It's it's like money, money, money. Got to buy, got to do, want to get this, want to get that. So on and so forth, right? Um, you also have the seven of pentacles here, right? Two, four, six. Yeah, seven. Seven of pentacles here. For some reason, I was not seeing that properly. With the seven of pentacles coming into place after that. Listen, you guys, it's almost like... You guys are wanting to do this investment, right? Like you guys are wanting to do this. You think it's going to be a good move. Maybe you guys are wanting to buy something. Maybe you guys are wanting to propose somebody. Maybe you guys are buying them a ring or whatever the hell it may be for the holidays, right? So you guys are seeing this as an investment. I really think that you guys need to take a step back and think about that honestly because you have the temperance. I mean, I'm sorry, the emperor card upside down. With the emperor being upside down, pff, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's just... Something's just not right there. So I would really take a step back and think about what you guys are wanting to do. Because I get a negative vibe from this negative energy um, with this. You guys are spending too much money. You're overdoing it. Your budget's not there for it. Okay. Like I had to take a deep breath. I was exhausted from that. I don't know why. You guys are... You guys are exhausted. You're losing sleep over this. You don't know what to do. At the end, family's going to come together. It's not about the material things. Look at this. You have windfall coming out. All right. You also have spiritual growth. Okay. That's coming out for you guys. This is more or less. You need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on what makes you happy. For some reason, it's like greed. All I keep seeing is greed, 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 greed for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay. And you guys really need to take a step back. Focus back on family, focus back on your morals, focus back on, I guess, almost like stemming back to your roots, right? Because you guys are just wanting to, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know if maybe you guys are getting a promotion or you guys are, you're, you're wanting to overspend and it's not going to work out well for you. Okay, so you guys need to take a step back, air signs. That's how I'm feeling from that. And it's making me out of breath. Okay, like exhausted from it. Like you guys are literally breaking your backs to try to make this happen. When in the end, it's it's going to work out regardless. But if you want to push it, then it's not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like it's going to put you in a financial bind. I know you guys don't want to hear that. And it is what it is. Maybe some of you already know. Or maybe for some of you, it will be clarification on what you need to do and what you don't need to do. All right. 
We're going to move on to fire signs. This is going to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what's in store for you guys this week. Aries, Leo, Sag. Here we go. You have the King of Swords upside down. Wow. What in the hell are you guys doing? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So you have the King of Swords upside down. You guys are overcoming something. You also have the um, Six of Wands coming in. That's upside down. The Six of Wands coming in upside down. This is almost like... You guys are in this position where it's like a lot of self-doubt, okay, on what you're doing. A lot of self-doubt. It's like, I, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm that. And I think that's why the King of Swords is also up, upside down. I think you guys, somebody is really putting you guys down, right? Somebody in your life is really putting you down. They're, they're not helping with your confidence. They're just breaking you down and breaking you down. And it's really, it's like to your bones, right? Like to your core. You guys are not having it. It's putting you in a really shitty mood. Um, but you have the three of pentacles that are coming into play here. With the three of pentacles, it's like, listen, you need to move on. You need to find your tribe. You need to find people who think like you. You can do what it is that you want to do, right? Maybe you guys are thinking, I can't do this, right? Like I can't, maybe you can't, You or you don't feel like you can do the job at task here, but you can. It's just like you might need a little bit of help moving forward with that, okay? Um, you also have the devil card upside down. Shit, you guys have a lot of shit going on here. Everything is out of control. Everything is out of control in your life. You have gotten to that breaking point. You're at your rock bottom is what it seems like. Because you guys are just like, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Nope, not doing it. Maybe you're laying in bed. Maybe you're depressed. You are not the fuck about this situation. You have had enough and you're wanting to walk away. That's exactly what you're wanting to do. But until you walk away from people who are shitty to you or put you down, you can't move forward with this. All right. Like, look at this right here. She's walking away. She's like, fuck this shit. I've had enough. I'm over it. I've had enough. <sighs> I feel like. I know I just took a long pause there and I had to take a deep breath because I feel like with you guys, it's like it has been the ultimate betrayal, right? It's been the ultimate deception. Maybe your lover has cheated on you. You're finding out about it or you will find out about it, but you have to walk away. When it involves money, you have to walk away. You can do it on your own. I feel like you guys don't have the confidence to do that and you just, for security reasons, and when I say security, I mean financially right you guys are afraid to walk away like you can't do it on your own and i'm here to tell you that you can do it on your own you have the knight of pentacles upside down you have everything the fuck upside down your whole world right now is being turned upside down queen of pentacles upside down you guys are scared of walking away from this situation you're not about it you don't have the confidence to do it you don't think that you can do it financially or mentally you're just exhausted and at the end of the day you can do it Okay, you just have to take that first step and believe in yourself. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, believe in yourself, you can do this um, and you can achieve it. Look at this, you're going to be moving. You have to move on. Self-employment, you have to move on and you have to make the money for yourself. And until you do that, you're not going to be able to move on, right? So for you guys, it's about the situation where you have to boost your confidence, right? Only you can do for you. Don't rely on other people. You can do what you do. Uh, for yourself, whether that be um, getting a second job, getting a third job, getting your first job. Financially, you have to invest in yourself and you have to do what is necessary to get yourself out of this situation. Whew, fire sign. Shit. Water signs. This is going to be Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I'm going through this fast because I know that you guys like the quicker videos. If you want a personal reading, of course, you can always go to my website, Talking to Spirits, LaughingWhatGhost.com, um, and book a reading for me. I will be starting my new appointments for 2023. Um, also, I do have a TikTok. Uh, I go live on there. I don't really do. I haven't. I haven't really done readings on there. Um, but we just kind of mess around, meet new people. It's a good time. 
All right, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Here we go. You have the Queen of Wands coming in. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Shit. And the Page of Wands. Wow. God damn. You also have the Hangman. You've got... Ooh. You have Seven of Pentacles upside down. Wow. And you also have the Moon card. You guys have a lot of shit going on. Holy smokes, water signs. Well, with the Seven of Pentacles... <laughs> upside down you guys are you don't know what the fuck you're doing i think that you guys are over people's shit at this point you guys are tired of it you guys are wanting it you guys are tired of giving to people water signs you're tired of giving to people you feel like you're caught up in shit you're tired of people taking advantage of you 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 have the seven of swords walking away you guys feel like you can't walk away you're also trying to release everything right this is like this is like, um, you're bound up, but you're really not. See, it's upside down. You're really not tied to anybody at this point. You're going to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And that's just it. You have the three of pentacles upside down as well. The three of pentacles being upside down. Listen, this is like, I'm doing it on my own. I'm not, I'm not fucking around with people anymore. I'm doing it on my own. I don't give a shit anymore about what people say, what they think about me, what they're going to do. I don't care because I'm so sorry, that cut off. Anyways, what I was saying is you guys are going to be tied to no one. You're not dealing with anybody's bullshit anymore. Okay, water signs, you guys are like, fuck this, I'm out. I'm going to do me. I'm tired of everybody trying to control my life. And you guys are moving on with it. You're sick of everybody's shit at the end of the day. I mean, that's exactly where you are. You don't want to deal with anybody else's crap anymore. You're tired of people trying to control you. You're tired of people trying to control your money. Quite frankly, you're tired of greedy fucking people. That's just where the hell you are. And I think it's a great move. I think that you guys are in this position where you're going to do what it is necessary to stay above water and, and move forward with your life, right? That's where you guys are at, water signs. An end of an era, okay, is coming out. Get some rest. Listen, you've done all that you can do for people who are using you. And at this point, it listen, it's now the end of it. It's time to move on. And it's time to think about yourself and do what's necessary for you in your life, okay? That's how we are with this on the water signs. I really love this reading for you guys. There's not really much, like, depth that I need to go into other than stop giving to fucking people. And then you guys are going to move on from this. Get some rest about it, and then that's it. It's boom, done. You guys are going to be well on your way um, to bigger, better things, all right? Instead of letting people take you the fuck down. Um, I love that reading. I know that one was kind of short, but that one was like bada bing, bada boom, done. And I know that the video quality might be a little bit different. I'm sorry I had to switch phones because my other one's got full storage. Um, we're going to move on to Earth Signs. Okay, it's going to be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oops. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have in store for you? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is it? All this shit is upside down. All right, you've got the Three of Wands upside down. All right, the three of wands, this is going to be like, you're not prepared for what's about to happen. Okay, you have the queen of swords coming in. Somebody's going to probably fuck you over. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, it's probably going to be an air sign. You have the sun that's upside down as well. You, you guys are about to go through some shit. You have the three of fucking swords coming out. All right. All right, you're going to have heartbreak, separation. You're not going to have the strength. You guys are going to have a fucking breakdown. You And you guys are going to be at a fucking crossroads. <sighs> All right, Earth signs, you guys are going to have a choice to make. Do I stay or do I go? I just want you to know somebody's probably cheating on you. They're not being faithful. Um, you guys are going to go through some shit. You guys are going to go through some shit. Whether that be in a relationship, whether that be in a friendship, somebody's backstabbing you guys, somebody's talking mad shit about you, mad shit, you guys are going to find out, um, kind of the hard way, you know, it's almost like gossip, right, that's going to be going on, gossip, so you guys are going to have a choice to make, do you want to stay in it, or do you not, you have the king of wands, that's upside down, you also have the page of pentacles coming in, I'm just, I don't think that, 
Like with the Page of Pentacles coming in, listen, this is like, you have to manifest something. It's going to be like something new is coming into play, right? But in order for you to do that, you have somebody's going to come into your life, but you have to be willing to trust them on what they're telling you with this information. Okay. It's going to be like, somebody's going to come to you and say, Hey, so-and-so said this or did that or whatever, but it's really going to affect you to where you're like, no, they would never do that. You're going to have the ultimate betrayal. That's going to be coming in to play here during this week. Um, I'd be very careful about what you say to somebody who's giving you this information and I would definitely question them be like well how do you know or how do you feel comfortable saying this that or whatever the fuck else but you are going to be having some information that comes to you somebody's going to betray the shit out of you and it's going to be really tough because I think it's going to be somebody that's really close to you um what a down fucking week shit you're going to need support that's coming out and also forgiveness um yeah i mean earth signs i don't really there's not really much more to say other than you guys are gonna need hella fucking support you're good listen you can always forgive but don't ever forget right on like what's happening in this situation you can always forgive in your heart but you don't ever have to forget what happened you guys are gonna need hella fucking support on this so make sure that you guys have somebody that is close to you or you can always reach out if need be my dms are always open on instagram so with that being said, guys, that was all the signs that were a little bit tough today. I know that it's been a while and I haven't seen you guys in a while on YouTube. So I do appreciate it if you guys came around and you guys watched this video. Again, you can always find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and I go I go live on TikTok. I just screw around on there, like I said. But my TikTok handle is the same as Talking to Spirits. I actually have two accounts on there. Um, so you guys are more than welcome to come and hang out with me if you want. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. If I don't make another video, I hope that you guys have a wonderful Christmas and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.